Okay, so here I am in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to select areas and remove them. And so what I want to do is open the three photos that I'll be editing. So I've got them here in my downloads and I can just select all of those and open them all at once and they'll all open up in Photoshop in separate windows. So first of all, we are going to work on the statue. Now the statue is going to be relatively easy because we've got a nice simple background there. It's all one plain color. So when we're selecting an area that's just one plain color, we can go over here and we can use the magic wand tool. And what the magic wand tool does is select just one particular color or an area of one color. So if I take that magic wand tool and click it there on the background, you'll see that it'll select all of that kind of apricot color. What you'll notice though is that we've also selected parts of the statue as well and we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to hit Command D or Control D to deselect. Now to make it so we don't select parts of the statue we need to go up here and turn down the tolerance. So let's just try that at 50. What that does is it will make the range of color that it's selecting smaller. Okay, so now when I click on it, you'll see that we still selected part of the statue, but you'll notice that we don't have parts of this shadow selected because it's a different color. But it's still a bit too much, so I'm going to deselect that again, and let's try to turn the tolerance down to about 30 and select that again. So now that's better because I can see I've got a nice neat selection around the outside of my statue. Um, but I don't have this shadow and I don't have parts of the bottom here. All right, so I can just zoom into that and see what we're doing. Now, to select multiple parts of an image, I have to go at the top here and I have to make sure that this button is clicked, Add to Selection. So that means that now, if I click other parts of the image, you'll see that those parts of the image are selected as well. Okay. Zoom back out again, and you'll see there that now we have a nice, neat selection around the outside of our statue. But before we go any further, we just want to neaten up that selection even more so we know that we've got a nice, even selection. And to do that, I want to go at the top here to Select and Mask, and you'll see there what that does is it brings up a mode of what we have selected there. In this case, it's got the selection is in black and the background is in white. We can change the view over here. I generally like the, the red overlay, so it gives me an indication of what the selection looks like. And that looks pretty neat to me. Just to make sure that this is as well selected as possible, let's go over here to Edge Detection. I'm gonna click on Smart Radius and I'm going to turn that up to a, probably about five. Now what Smart Radius does is it tells Photoshop that I am trying to select something and Photoshop will look for differences in colors to help with that selection. Down the bottom here you have some more things that we can adjust. Smooth will make the lines straighter. Feather will make the lines softer. Um, shift Edge will trim a little bit of the selection inward so it doesn't hurt just to kind of bring that in not very much we're just kind of shaving off the edge and now when i click ok nothing's happened but what has happened is that the selection has been refined okay now we've got the background selected and we want to delete it before we do that we have to go over here to the layer i have to click on that lock and make sure that layer is unlocked and now it's just a matter of hitting the delete key and you can see that that background has been deleted. So what we're wanting to do is we are going to put the sky image behind our statue here. So firstly let's deselect. So again command or control D. I'm going to go over here into my sky image and there it is and what I want to do is just select the whole thing. I'm going to hit command and A and you can see that that's selected the whole area and then I'm to copy it. I'm going to hit Command and C. So now I have that copied. Go back to my statue, Command and V to paste it. Now, where's my statue gone? 
well, the statue is behind this sky. So if we look over here in our layers, the sky layer is above the statue layer. So if I just drag that layer down, you'll see that the statue is exposed. But we're also noticing here that the sky image is not big enough to fill the entire frame. So it's just a matter of making sure our sky layer is selected. I'm gonna hit Command or Control T and that will allow you to adjust that layer. Now, if I just drag that as is, you'll see that I'm going, I can potentially distort that image. Now for the sky, it doesn't really matter that much, but if it was something like a person's face or something, you would warp it, you would make it look a little bit weird. All right, so in order to maintain that aspect ratio, I'm just gonna undo what I've just done. And then if I hold down the shift key when I drag from the corner, you'll see that it maintains that aspect ratio. So I can just click and drag from there. And I know that that sky image is not gonna be distorted. I'm gonna hit enter or return when I'm happy with it. And there's my finished image. Last thing I wanna do is go file, save as, and make sure I save it as a JPEG. not as a Photoshop file. Okay, now we need to remove the layer of the background in the duck image. Now this one's gonna be a little bit trickier because you can see the background there, there's a lot going on. There's lots of different colors and textures and shades. So obviously the magic wand tool is not really going to do very much. All right, so we need to go back over here and this time we're gonna use the quick selection tool. Now the quick selection tool is basically like the magic wand tool as a brush. So as I brush with the quick selection tool across the image, you can see what it's doing. It's selecting, it's, it's selecting parts of that image. What you'll notice if you see inside the brush tool, I can just use my square brackets to make it go bigger and smaller. I've got a little negative symbol in it. That means that at the moment it's deselecting. Up the top here, you've got, you've got the selection and deselection tool. So if I change that to the plus, then it'll go back and select that parts of the image. And when I'm doing this, it's a good idea to not just go crazy with it and all in one big go, just kind of do it in short chunks. So then if you select more than you mean to, you can always just go back and undo it. And that's not looking too bad, but what you'll notice is that I've chopped off poor Mr. Duck's beak. All right, so again, I have to go back up here. I have to go the subtract from selection. I'm gonna make that brush size smaller. I'm just using my square brackets to do that. And I'm going to brush back over his beak and over, the, over his back here, there's a few places where I've lost some of him so I just need to just gently just click around if I go too far again I'll just go back and reselect it until I'm happy with that selection I think there was part of his tail that was missing as well and maybe parts of his feet some of it you're gonna find really really tricky because the colors are just too similar but just Try to get it as best you can. Yeah, so you can see his feet, it's pretty well selected, but the part in between his feet could be better. So if we can just, just click it, just little clicks. And we're gonna go back and refine the selection. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Again, we go up to select and mask to refine that selection. Use smart radius, which we really, really need this time. You can see that that's really smoothed it all out. And we might just shift the edge just a touch and click okay. All right, now again, 
make sure your layer is unlocked, hit delete, and there goes the background. So in this image, as was instructed, we need to create a plain color for the background. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna make sure that that layer is behind the duck or beneath it in the layer uh, window there. Over here, I am going to select a color. So I'm gonna to go to select foreground color, select a color that I would like, can be anything really. Click OK over here to the paint bucket tool and just click anywhere on the screen. And you can see that that's gonna put a nice neat layer in the background. If you want to go a little bit more fancy than that, underneath the paint bucket, we have the gradient tool and you can see that's what's going to look like up the top. So basically it's going to be a gradient between the foreground and the background color. So if I said the background color, it's going, the gradient's going to go from green to red, and then I can just click and drag in the direction that I want that gradient. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go File, Save As, and save it as a JPEG.